Hey, this is Elijah with the Oxygen Team, and in this video, we're going to look at implementing a custom light box effect for non gallery elements in Oxygen. Now, Oxygen includes a gallery element that lets you add images, and then when you click those images, they're brought up into a light box. You can click left and right to go through them, all of that fun stuff. But if you want to have a similar effect with an image element or a post or anything like that, you traditionally have had to use third-party JavaScript libraries. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a very similar effect with only oxygen, a modal element, and a little bit of JavaScript. So let's jump into the back end and get started. So here we are. I've set up a pretty basic HTML structure. I've got a 100 VH uh, section here. I've got a heading and I've got some image elements. Now, these are wrapped in a div, and that div is has a class of lightbox-container. Then the elements inside are just images, which have a scale on hover class, which is just for this visual effect where it scales a bit and has a box shadow. So to get this thing to work, we're also gonna need a modal element. So let's click Add and type in modal, and let's drop that in, and it goes right down here. Now, depending on how you want to set up this pop-up or this light box, we could do it differently. You could put a lot of different elements in here. But for this basic example, we're going to set it up just as a basic image light box with no forward or backward controls. Just whichever image you click comes up and you can view it. So we're going to need to add a class to this modal. So let's add a light box pop-up, dash pop-up, click add class. And then let's go into modal styles and we're going to make sure it's centered. Uh, you could put it wherever you want, but we also want to make sure that the width is appropriate. So I'm thinking something like 400 pixels or maybe 500, but I think we'll have to set that on the ID here because it's, or at least clear it over here on the ID. So then we can override it on the class. So let's go back over here and we'll set it to 400 pixels. Uh, let's do a little bit bigger than that. Let's do 700, not 4,700, we want 700. Okay, so 700 pixels, and then size and spacing to set the height, let's do something like 400. That looks about right. So the reason we're not too concerned about the aspect ratio of this is because we're gonna put the images into this modal as a background, which means we can kind of frame it however we want. So that being said, let's go to advanced background, and let's just do what we can in the GUI here because some of it we're going to have to do with some code. Um, we may as well make our lives easy and do what we can here in the GUI by setting the background size to cover and then setting the left and top positions to 50%. That will center the background image. And we actually can go ahead and drop in a background image so you can see kind of what this looks like. And we'll use one that, that we're not actually going to use in our little gallery setup. So that's what our background image is going to look like. Now, a lot of these need to also have some kind of a caption or something. So what we can do is we can add a uh, text element here to the modal. And we're going to set the text color to white and then the background color to a transparent black. And then the next thing we want to do is position it near the bottom. So we'll go to the modal itself. And I believe it's content styles. Yep, there we go. And drop that down to the bottom and then we'll center it. So now we have a little caption here. Now on the text element, we also might want to set some padding. So let's put like eight pixels all the way around and then let's set the width to 100%. Okay, so now that looks a little bit better. We got a nice little caption there along the bottom. Now to target this, we're gonna add another class and this is gonna be lightbox dash popup dash caption. Okay, so Let's go up and save these uh, classes in a reference here. So we got lightbox dash popup. Then we have lightbox dash popup dash caption. Uh, and then we have lightbox dash container. So these are the three classes we have set up so far. Um, these elements in here actually are going to need a class. They already have scale on hover, but because I want to make sure it's apparent what this class is for. I'm going to give them a class called lightbox 
trigger dash trigger uh, and this isn't going to do any styling it's simply going to be uh, so that the modal can be triggered when these are clicked add that one there and then jump over here and make sure we added it there okay so now let's go to our modal and let's go to trigger and we're going to choose show when user clicks element and we're going to target these guys now that grabbed the ID, which we don't want. So we're just gonna manually type in light box trigger, right? So that should trigger the modal when any of these elements are clicked. So let's jump over to the front end and test what we have so far. Okay, so if we click that, we have a modal, obviously the image and caption are static. They're not what we want, but that's okay. Perfect, perfect, okay. So now what we need to do is we need to tell the modal what to show when we click an element. And that's just going to be a matter of adding a code block. And you can put it wherever you want. I usually put it somewhere that's easy to find, like up here in the section. And we're going to get rid of this PHP and HTML because we don't need it. And then we're going to go into JavaScript and start working with these classes we've set up. Okay, so we know that when we click one of these image elements, it's going to trigger the modal. So what do we want to have happen when that modal comes up? So first of all, we want the background image to change. So we know we can use a little bit of jQuery to select the images source attribute, grab that value, and then set it as the background image of our light box container pop up. So the first thing we do is write jQuery, then use our uh, light box trigger selector, light box dash trigger. I'm just going to verify that in our reference. What do we have here? We added that after our reference. So let's look here. Light box dash trigger. So let's add that up here. Okay. And so let's go back to our code block here and our JavaScript. jQuery, when the light box uh, dash trigger element is clicked, we're going to run a function. And when that function runs, what we want to do is select the, uh, actually, we need to store the current elements uh, source attributes. So we're going to say var image equals jQuery this dot attr uh, open parenthesis src. And that should then give us the image source. So just to test this, we're going to alert that variable. So we're going to do an alert image. Okay. Now this should work as long as I haven't completely broken something. Uh, so let's save that and jump to the front end. Now this is going to trigger the modal as well, but you can see here it tells us uh, the URL to our image when we click these. So we should get different ones for each one. Perfect. So now we know that variable is good. So now we can jump back over here and instead of alerting, what we can do is we can select our light box pop up. Yeah. So we need to go ahead and do a jQuery selector on light box dash pop up, which is our actual modal element. And we're going to set the CSS and we're going to choose the background image property. And we're going to set it to uh, URL open parenthesis plus image plus a close parenthesis. And make sure we have all our uh, parenthesis in order. Sometimes you miss one and then it breaks everything. So I think that will do the trick. Let's try this really quick. Jump over to the front end, refresh, and let's click one. And as you can see, now our modal element is going to have the background image of whichever image we click. Okay, so now we're looking at this caption here. So the caption's a little tricky because normally what you would have is you would have written the images with a code block and you can give them a data attribute to output uh, or to hold the value of the caption that you want. But since these are image elements, we're going to have to do things a little differently. Let's go over here to this image and let's click add and let's add a text element. 
and we're going to change the text color here but actually first let's add a class we'll call it lightbox caption dash caption now let's change the color we're going to have a few of these so i want to be able to control them uh, with the class that's why i went ahead and added that so let's just add a caption here so this is going to be this is a caption of some mushrooms in a basket great and then let's duplicate that and let's make a caption for this image over here check out this sandwich i think i think it's a sandwich i'm not positive but we're going to guess here and then we're going to duplicate this and do one for the salad so this is a delicious salad i want to eat perfect so now we have our captions um what we probably want to do is rename these over in the structure pane so we click the hamburger icon go down to rename and we'll call it caption and what we want is we want a caption after each image in the structure pane. So caption, they don't need to be labeled uniquely as long as each image has an accompanying caption after itself will be good because we're going to use a jQuery sibling selector to grab these. Okay, so now each image has a caption after it and this looks awful so what we'll do is we'll actually hide these that's why we added the class here so we can uh with the class selected we can go to advanced layout and set it to display none because we don't need to see them we just need to have that data uh available so let's save this and let's jump up to our code block and now we'll do the javascript part so what we first want to do is we want to store that text from those captions in a variable so we're going to name the variable uh caption and it's going to be jQuery this, which is the, the element we clicked, next, which is the next element in the DOM. And then that element, we want its text content, right? So um, this should give us our captions that reside after each image we clicked. To test that, we can go ahead and do an alert uh, caption. And then we'll save and check it out on the front end. And now in our box here, we have our unique captions. This is a caption of some mushrooms in a basket. This is a caption. Uh, check out the sandwich. Uh, and then the salad. Okay, so that's working. Our variable's good. So now we need to set the caption in the pop-up to the appropriate text. So our selector for that is lightbox dash pop-up dash caption. So we're going to do jQuery light box whoop need our single quotes there light box dash pop up dash caption dot text and then we're going to set that to caption which is the variable we just set up now that should do the trick let's go ahead we don't have any alerts in here so this should be the final javascript we need so let's jump up to the front end and click on this and you can see now we have the caption there at the bottom of the pop-up and it changes for each thing we click. So if you need a simple light box effect, this is a really quick and easy way to set that up. Now you theoretically could probably set up back and forward arrows if you wanted, but that'd be a lot more in depth. And a lot of applications I run into just need this simple effect. And here we achieved it without any external libraries using mostly Oxygen's GUI with just a few lines of simple jQuery. And even though we had to set things up a little strangely with these captions as siblings to the images, um, the bonus is to make changes to any of this stuff, we don't have to alter code or manipulate libraries, and we can actually leverage the modal elements features uh, by going to modal styles, uh, we can change the position of this wherever we want. We can put it. We want it in the center in this case. We can change the backdrop color. Uh, so we could do, you know, a white backdrop that's transparent instead of a dark one. And we also can use the animate on scroll library to do some really cool stuff with this. So let's jump over to advanced uh, effects, animate on scroll, and let's enable animation for this pop-up. And let's make it um, slide up, which will make it slide into view. And we're going to set it to 0 0.4 seconds. And then the actual uh, text element itself we can animate as well. So let's go to advanced uh, effects, animate on scroll. 
And let's enable that and let's make it slide right maybe. Let's try that, slide right. And let's make it a little bit faster, but let's give it an animation delay of like 300 milliseconds. Okay, so let's go over to the front end and see what we have going on now. So let's refresh. And now you can see we have a different style pop-up with a transparent white background. Uh, and it flies up from the bottom and then the caption flies in. Now, because this is visible outside of the pop-up itself, that doesn't look so good. So we can go to the modal and go to advanced uh, layout and do overflow hidden. That should solve that little visual glitch there. So let's try that again. There we go. So now we have even a more dynamic experience for your visitors. So again, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and that's how to set up a light box effect on an image element using only Oxygen and a little bit of JavaScript, no external libraries. Thank you very much for watching.